When celebrity dies, fans can be left heartbroken by the tragic loss, but it can also lead to the celebration of legacy they left behind. Whether it's entertaining millions, inspiring people or helping to change the world for the better in some way, their contributions affect many of our lives, often in very significant ways. In 2019 we said goodbye to number of public figures from the world of stage, screen, sport, politics and more. Among them were literary icon Toni Morrison, actor Peter Fonda, film star Rutger Hauer and Hollywood legend Doris Day. The start of the new decade has already seen the passing of some stars, including Monty Python legend Terry Jones, spiritual medium Derek Akora, and WWE legend Rocky Johnson. Here's look at the people we've lost in 2020 whose influence will be felt for many years to come. April Bill Withers Ain't no sunshine when she's gone singer. Bill Withers has died on April 3, aged 81. The American singer had lost battle with an ongoing heart condition. Born on July 4, 1938 in Slab Fork, West Virginia, the soul singer was given the name of William Harrison Withers. Withers also released well-known songs, such as Lean on Me Bill Withers Dead Aged 81. Eddie Large Comedian Eddie Large died on April after contracting coronavirus. Eddie, alongside funnyman Sid Little, made up one of Britain's most beloved comedy duos, who were known as Little and Large. He died alone in hospital without his family or friends allowed to visit him due to the strict rules around slowing the spread of the virus. His son Ryan McGuinness broke the sad news on Facebook, telling family and friends that his Scottish comedian dad had passed away at the age of 78. March Joe Diffie Country music singer Joe Diffie died on March 29, aged 61. According to his publicist, his death was due to coronavirus complications. Diffie was Grammy Award winner, earning the Best Country Collaboration with Vocals Gong in 1998. He was also member of the Grand Ole Opry. Renowned weekly country music show. John Callahan. Actor John Callahan died on March 28, aged 66 following sudden stroke. Callahan appeared on hit U.S. soap opera All My Children as Edmund Gray from 1992 to 2005. During the mid-80s and early 90s he also had roles on drama shows Santa Barbara and Falcon Crest. Mark Bloom. Actor Mark Bloom died on March 25, aged 69 following coronavirus complications. Among Blum's most notable big screen appearances were his roles in Crocodile Dundee and Desperately Seeking Susan. He also featured on number of TV shows, including Law & Order, NYPD Blue and The West Wing. Kenny Rogers Kenny Rogers died on March 20, aged 81. The country music legend had career that spanned more than six decades, and featured chart-topping hits like The Gambler and Islands in the Stream, his iconic duet with fellow country star Dolly Parton. His music earned him numerous awards, including two Grammys for tracks Lucille and The Gambler in 1977 and 1979 respectively. Rogers also turned his hand to acting, appearing in number of TV movies inspired by The Gambler, as well as making cameos in various TV shows. Lorenzo Brino Actor Lorenzo Brino died on March age 21 after car crash. Brino was former child star most famous for his portrayal of Sam Camden in 90s TV show Seventh Heaven. He joined the show alongside his brother in 1996 when they were just five months old, and were part of the cast until 2001. Max von Sido. Actor Max von Sydow passed away on March 8, aged 90. His career spanned many cult favorites including Star Wars and Game of Thrones. Dave Reinford Egghead's star Dave Reinford died aged 49. Reinford was general knowledge expert who was fan favorite on the BBC quiz show. He joined the program following an appearance on Who Wants to Be Millionaire in 2015 which saw him win £250. Egghead's host Jeremy Vine led the tributes on Twitter. Dave Tremendous Knowledge Reinford, famous for being banned from pub quiz machines in Manchester, was the best company after recording. Always fun and sociable. I never saw him angry or ungenerous. Not once. 
Danny Tidwell Professional dancer Danny Tidwell died on March aged 35 following car crash. Tidwell became an American dance star after his appearance on the third season of U.S. talent show So You Think You Can Dance in 2007. He went on to appear on other reality shows, including Dancing with the Stars and American Idol. Nicholas Tucci Actor Nicholas Tucci died on March aged 38 after battle with cancer. Tucci was most famous for his appearances on horror show Channel Zero and Netflix thriller Your Next. Barbara Crampton, one of Nicholas Co. stars, paid tribute to him on social media. Rip Deer, sweet friend Nicholas Tucci, was lucky to work with him twice on Your Next Channel Zero. He is gone way too soon but his mark. On the genre and our hearts will never be forgotten. Chilling and undocumented. Most Beautiful Island and Funny in Long Lost and More XXFEBRUARY Michael Medwin Actor Michael Medwin died on February 26, aged 96. Medwin's most famous roles include his appearance in Carrie on Nurse and his portrayal of Don Satchley in detective show Shoestring. He also starred in 1970 musical film Scrooge alongside Albert Finney. Michael's career included theater as well with West End productions such as Man and Superman and What the Butler Saw. He was awarded an OBE for services to drama in 2005. Simon War Simon War died on February 22, aged 65 after battling pancreatic and liver cancer. The broadcaster and former teacher worked on BBC Radio for over 20 years, and appeared on Channel TV show That'll Teach M as the headmaster. Boris Leskin Actor Boris Leskin died on February 21, aged 97. Leskin was born in Romania and starred in number of Soviet, era films. Eventually making it to Hollywood and appearing in Psy, Phi Movie Men in Black as the Chef. He also featured on TV show Third Watch and had role in comedy drama Everything is Illuminated. Bashar Baraka Jackson Pop Smoke, the American rapper known as Pop Smoke died on February 19, aged 20. Pop Smoke was born in Brooklyn, New York on July 20, 1999. The artist was only active within the American rap grime scene for two years. His first single to become popular was Welcome to the Party which was on his debut album Meet the Woo It's believed he was killed by rival gang member Janet Dubois. Actress Janet Dubois died on February 18, aged 74. Dubois was most famous for her role on the American 70s sitcom Good Times as Willona Woods. She also appeared on Beverly Hills 90210, Er and Everybody Loves Raymond. The star voiced character on animated show The PJs, which earned her two Emmys. Andrew Weatherall Andrew Weatherall died on February 17, at the age of 56. The DJ and music producer suffered from pulmonary embolism and passed away in hospital, according to statement released by his management. Andrew, also known as The Major, first found fame with the club remix of Hallelujah for the Happy Mondays, for which he collaborated with DJ Paul Oakenfold. He also helped produce World in Motion for New Order, Loaded, and remix of Primal Scream's track I Am Losing More Than I'll Ever Have. Harry Gregg, Former Manchester United Goalkeeper and Munich air disaster hero Harry Gregg has passed away at the age of 87. Gregg, Northern Ireland International, helped rescue some of his teammates and other passengers on board the plane which came down in Munich as United travelled back from European Cup tie in Belgrade on February 6, 1958. 20, three passengers on board the plane were killed, including eight United first, team players. United icon Bobby Charlton credits Greg for saving his life after the crash, while he also helped pull Baby from the wreckage of the aircraft. Greg who was back in the United goal just two weeks after the disaster received an MBE in 1995 and an OBE in 2018, both for his services to football. The goalkeeper is widely recognized as one of the greatest stoppers ever to play for United and maintained that he was determined not to be remembered for his actions at Munich alone. Jason Davis Disney voice actor Jason Davis has died on February 17, aged 35. He was the voice of character Mikey Blumberg.
On the Disney animated series Recess for four years and has opened up in recent years about his struggles with addiction. Jason's mother, Nancy Davis Rickle, confirmed his death to The Hollywood Reporter, with the cause still unknown. In statement, Jason's heartbroken mum wrote, I'm so heartbroken to share the saddest news of my life that my son Jason Davis passed away this morning in Los Angeles. Caroline Flack TV presenter Caroline Flack died on February 15 aged 40 after taking her own life. A lawyer for the Flack family confirmed that Caroline took her own life and was found in her East London flat on Saturday. A family spokesperson today said, We can confirm that our Caroline passed away today on 15 February. We would ask that the press respect the privacy of the family at this difficult time. Caroline fronted number of shows during her career, including Gladiators, Love Island, The Factor, and I Am Celebrity Get Me Out of Here Now. She also hosted radio show on Heart. Alongside Gethin Jones, and appeared as contestant on Strictly Come Dancing, Esther Scott. American actress Esther Denise Scott has died on February 14, aged 66, following heart attack. Born in Queens, New York on April 13, 1953, Esther made her acting debut as voice actress on Star Wars, Ewoks. Throughout her 31-year career she starred in films and TV shows such as, The Gina Davis Show, Transformers, Fun with Dick and Jane, Austin Powers in Goldmember. Arguably her most notable. Role come in the 1991 film, Boys the Hood. Lindsay Legesti. Country singer Lindsay Legesti died on February 14, aged 25 after being hit by car. Legesti performed as part of Dixie Crush, popular cover band in Midwest America. She was one of the group's founding members. John Shrapnel. Actor John Shrapnel died on February 14, aged 77 as well as featuring in number of stage productions as part of the Royal Shakespeare Company, Shrapnel starred in Notting Hill and Gladiator, and also appeared on TV show Waking the Dead. Lynn Cohen Actress Lynn Cohen died on February 14, aged 86. The star's most famous role was as Magda in hit TV series Sex and the City, and she went on to portray the character in the show's two big screen outings, Cohen also appeared in numerous episodes of Law and & Order and & Damages, as well as featuring in various movies including Munich and The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Raphael Coleman. Nanny McPhee star Raphael Coleman died on February 7, aged just 25. Raphael's stepdad Karsten Jensen took to Facebook to say that Raphael passed away after collapsing during jog and could not be revived, as well as appearing as Eric Brown in Nanny McPhee. He also had roles in It's Alive, Edward's Turmoil and The Fourth Kind. In recent years, he had been actively involved with Extinction Rebellion, earning himself the nickname Iggy Fox within the group. Orson Bean actor Orson Bean died on February aged 91 after being struck by car. The star's career started on the radio in the 50s, before becoming game show host in the 60s and then moving on to number of TV roles. Bean's appearances include The Twilight Zone, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman and Desperate Housewives, as well as big screen outings in Being John Malkovich and Alien Autopsy alongside Ant and Deck. Kirk Douglas Actor Kirk Douglas died on February aged 103. The Hollywood legend was born Isser Danielovich, and worked 40 different jobs including stint in the United States Navy during World War II before starting his acting career. Following his debut big screen appearance in the 1946 film The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, Douglas went on to star in nearly 100 movies, including the role he was most famous for, Spartacus. In statement, his actor son Michael said, To the world, he was legend, an actor from the golden age of movies who lived well into his golden years, humanitarian whose commitment to justice and the causes he believed in set standard. For all of us to aspire to, Danny Ayres Speedway star Danny Ayres passed away aged 33. Ayres was beloved figure among fans and those involved in the sport, and was part of various teams during his career, starting with Kent in the National League at the age of 27, followed championship team Glasgow in 2016. He also had stints for Leicester, Redcar, Cradley and Ipswich.
Andy Gill musician Andy Gill died on February aged 64. Guitarist Gill was one of the founding members of Post, punk band Gang of Four. The group's debut album Entertainment appeared on the list of Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time January Nicholas Parsons Just Minute host Nicholas Parsons died on January 28, aged 96. Parsons had hosted the hit BBC radio radio comedy show Just Minute since its inception in 1967 show in which celebrity panelists must speak for 60 seconds without hesitation, repetition or deviation while swerving challenges from their rivals. He also was known for his TV work, presenting shows such as Sale of the Century, Kobe Bryant. Retired LA Lakers legend, Kobe Bryant passed away on February 26, aged 41. The five. Time NBA champion and American basketball sensation was tragically killed following helicopter crash. The shooting guard had one club career with the Los Angeles side spanning 20 years. Kobe's daughter also passed away in the crash, along with several others. Jack Burns Writer, actor and comedian Jack Burns died on January 26, at the age of 86. One of the original writers for The Muppet Show. He was also comedy partner to George Carlin, the pair penning radio shows and an album together in the 1960s. The American actor starred in Happy Days, The Partridge Family and Sour Grapes, as well as voicing characters on hit animated series such as The Simpsons, Animaniacs, Mother Goose and Grimm, and Darkwing Duck. Terry Jones Monty Python founder and star. Terry Jones died on January 21 aged 77. According to family statement Jones, who had been battling rare form of dementia, died with with his wife Anna Soderstrom by his side. Jones was an original member of the legendary comedy troupe, and was largely responsible for getting them together after meeting Michael Palin at Oxford University. Together, the Pythons created some of the world's most famous comedy sketches of all time and released number of hit movies, including Life of Brian and the Holy Grail. Derek Fowlds Yes Minister and Heartbeat star Derek Fowlds died on January 17, aged 82. The actor died at Royal United Hospital's bath after suffering from pneumonia that led to heart failure caused by sepsis. Fowlds was best known for playing Private Secretary Bernard Woolley in the hit political sitcom and police officer Oscar Blaketon in Heartbeat but he also entertained kids as Mr. Derrick on The Basil Brush Show from 1969 until 1973, starring opposite the famed puppet, Therese Dion. Canadian TV star Therese Dion died on January 16 at the age of 92. She was in the company of her close family on the day she died, according to reports. It said she had been struggling with illness in recent months including memory loss, loss of vision and hearing impairment. According to TMZ, Therese was star in her own right as she was the host of cooking show for Canadian, French-language channel TVA. Also she was fondly nicknamed and known as Maman Dion. Maman Dion was the mother of 14 children including singer Celine Dion. Christopher Tolkien Christopher Tolkien, the son of Lord of the Rings author J.R.R. Tolkien, died on January 16 aged 95. Christopher, an accomplished author in his own right, was key in keeping his father's legacy alive after his death, editing works such as The The Silmarillion. He also drew the famous original Lord of the Rings maps which decorated the books released across the 1950s after the success of the prequel, The Hobbit, the highly, detailed maps. Add on to the sense of complete mythical world of Middle-earth. Rocky Johnson. Rocky Johnson. The wrestler Dad of the Rock, died on January 15, aged 75. Rocky became National Wrestling Alliance Georgia champion and NWA Southern Heavyweight Memphis champion as well as host of other titles across his career, before going on to become part of the first black tag team to win the World Tag Team Championship in the World Wrestling Federation with partner Tony Atlas. After retiring, he went on to train son. Dwayne The Rock Johnson to wrestle. Stan Kirsch Stan Kirsch died on January 11, age 51. 
The actor who was best known for his role of Richie Ryan in Highlander is believed to have taken his own life and was found dead at his home by his wife. As well as playing Richie Ryan for six seasons, Kirsch also Stan also starred as Lieutenant Ferrari in hit series Jag for five seasons, as well as appearing in shows such as Friends. Ed Burns Actor Ed Burns died on January from Natural Causes, aged 87. Burns appeared in the 1979 musical Grease as dance show host Vince Fontaine, and portrayed Kookie on TV series 77 Sunset Strip. Neil Peart Musician Neil Peart died on January aged 67 following fight with brain cancer. Peart was the drummer in rock band Rush, joining the ensemble in 1974 and retiring from music in 2015. Neil is survived by Carrie, his wife of 19 years. Silvio Horta Ugly Betty creator Silvio Horta died on January 7, aged 45. He is believed to have taken his own life after being discovered in motel room in Miami. Horta was the show, runner and head writer behind the hit ABC show starring America Ferreira and Vanessa Williams, which ran for four seasons between 2006 and 2010. He also wrote hit films Urban Legend and Urban Legend. Final Cut. Stephen Clements BBC presenter Stephen Clements passed away at the age of 47. The much, loved TV and radio presenter died just months after landing what he called the job of lifetime at the BBC. Stephen, formerly long, time presenter of radio's breakfast show, started working with BBC Northern Ireland last September. He is survived by his wife and two children. Christopher Beanie Upstairs Downstairs star Christopher Beanie died on January 3rd, aged 78. The star's son, Rick Blackman, broke the sad news in Twitter tribute to his dad. As well as playing footman Edward Barnes in Upstairs Downstairs, Beanie also starred in Last of The Summer Wine and In Loving Memory. Derek Akora. Derek Akora died on January aged 69 after falling into septic coma. Born Derek Francis Jason Johnson, Akora was self-styled spiritual medium who rose to fame on the the TV show Most Haunted when it launched at 2001, before fronting his own show Derek Akora's Ghost Towns. Derek appeared on the 2017 series of Celebrity Big Brother, finishing in fourth place. Nathiel Jalan French striker Nathaniel Jalan died in car accident, aged 23. Jalan, who is believed to have been on his way home from training, was involved in the collision near the town of Saint Brieuc with firefighters called to the scene. Gangam confirmed the news via statement, saying, The club had the immense pain of learning this afternoon of the accidental death of their player Nathaniel Jalan. On this tragic day, all the members of the club joined together to send their condolences to Nothal's family. Chris Barker Former Barnsley and Cardiff City defender Chris Barker passed away, aged just 39. In career that spanned almost 20 years, the Sheffield, born left back made more than 500 career appearances since making his Football League debut for Barnsley back in 1999, before going on to play for teams such as Cardiff, QPR, Plymouth, Southend and Aldershot. Lexia Lehi Young rising rap star Lexia Lehi died on January 1st, aged just 21. Fans of the Up! and Coming Star, whose real name is Alexis Alehi Lynch, were left devastated when news of her sudden death broke just hours after she had been active on social media. She recently appeared on Kelani Parish single Jealous and the American singer was one of the first to share the news as it broke.